Hello friends, welcome. Thank you so much for joining me today. This video is going to be such a special one because if you don't know yet, I bought an original painting by Jimena Reno and wow, I still can't believe I own this painting. It's also my first original that I collect um, by any artist, which is something that I want to do a lot more often. So I just feel very grateful and very lucky that I got the chance to get my hands on one of these beautiful paintings. This video is also inspired by the beautiful roses of that painting. So I painted a bunch of different flowers that I saw throughout my week. But before I share more about these paintings, I wanted to thank Koji for sponsoring today's video. I finally fixed my Koji bio, guys. It was kind of messy and I wanted to add in a lot more wonderful things, so I wanted to share the apps that I have on my bio today. This first one is called Media Wall and it's basically a feed of all your favorite things. So you can post a video or a podcast or links to things that you love and you want to share with your audience. It's a really nice way to keep everything organized and all in one place. The next one I'd like to share is called Gift Me and this one is adorable because you can pick an emoji and it could represent the gift that the person would be buying you and it's a really fun way for your audience to interact with you and um, yeah support you and donate so this is the great thing about Koji apps because everything can be done directly in your bio so anybody who does want to donate doesn't have to be directed anywhere else. And this one I'm showing you here is the tip jar. I already had this one but I cleaned it up a little bit and I really love how it looks. So it's just another way for your audience to support you but they get to put the price that they'd like to send to you. And the great thing about having tip jar is that 100% of the funds go straight to you, meaning that there are zero fees to withdraw your money. I would highly suggest adding tip jar to your bio if you're a creator. It's a really great way for people who love your work to support you. And this is my favorite part about Koji because you're able to customize all of your apps and all of this is free so you're really able to put in your own touch. And this last app here is called the affiliate links so it's just a list of links that I get asked most about um, so it's really nice to keep everything here organized and you're able to put a picture of the item and direct the link straight to where you got it. But yeah, Koji makes it super easy to customize your bio for free. It helps you monetize and grow your audience. So it really is awesome. If this is something that you're looking for and if you're interested, I highly recommend you look into it. I'll leave my link down in the description box to help you start up with your free profile. And now we can get back to these paintings. So as I mentioned earlier, Receiving that original painting by Jimena inspired me to practice my flowers. Flowers is something that I'm not so great at, but I plan on doing a lot more of these smaller paintings to get me into the habit of painting flowers and yeah, that's what I did this week and I'm really happy that I did because I feel like I learned a lot. They ended up turning out a lot better than I expected. I think my least favorite was probably the tulip and that's just because of the reference photo. Um, the reference photo didn't have a lot of contrast in it so when it came to painting it I was kind of lost and it looked a little dull and so I kind of had to change the colors myself but it didn't turn out as I would have liked so that was just something that I noticed and then this painting that I'm doing right now, I actually wasn't even going to do because it seemed very hard and abstract, but for some reason it felt the easiest and I really enjoyed this painting. It's probably my favorite. I can't decide between this one and the last painting that I do, but I really love how this came out and I love the purples that um, are in this flower. 
If you're interested in having the reference photos of all these flowers, um, you could support me on Patreon. I also am going to post a real-time painting of this flower and it also includes a video of the palette so you'll also see how I got to mix all of these beautiful purples. If you decide to support me on my art journey, I would be so so grateful. I'll leave the link down in the description box in case you're interested and no pressure at all of course. If you're only there for a month, I am still so so grateful for you. I was really happy with how this painting came out because in the reference photo the colors are so incredibly vibrant and I thought I was not going to be able to achieve that but somehow I did and I'm really happy that I did. I feel like this flower came out so beautiful and I just love that red in the center that is just so bright. And as you can tell, I had a really fun time playing around with the grass, making it look like it's windy. I wanted this flower to look very dreamy and very delicate in the wind.
And here is the final painting. I had an amazing time painting all three of these flowers with such different shapes and different colors. I, I can't wait to do so much more. I hope that you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to check out Koji. The link is down in my description box. Thank you so much for being here and I'll see you here very soon.